Furious 6, made in 2013. Don't ask about the naming convention of this series, it doesn't make any sense at all, like a lot of other elements of those movies. But it doesn't really matter that much. So this movie picks up where the last one left off, or actually several months after the conclusion of Fast Five. Vin Diesel and Paul Walker are enjoying their retirement after the successful heist and uh, stealing all this money. They're not racing anymore until The Rock comes back in and tries to recruit them to, to give him help in bringing down another gang of racers slash terrorists who are trying to steal a lot of different components which combined together will allow them to assemble this sort of electronic gizmo which will enable them to turn off all power in, in an entire country for 24 hours. It Don't ask, it doesn't make any sense. In order to keep Vin Diesel interested, uh, to bring him in, um, The Rock uh, lets him know that they've actually spotted, as one of the members of that gang, his previous uh, love interest, Letty, played by Michelle Rodriguez, whose character has died in part four and we've been to her funeral, but now she's apparently alive, but she has amnesia and she's evil. Don't ask. It doesn't make any sense. So this, as you can guess by the story outline, this is finally the point of no return. The, the previous film did go balls to the wall crazy with action in the finale, but I think it was still kind of testing the waters of what the, the audience will swallow, what is allowed. And this one goes, all right, how can we top that? How can we make it more absurd? And it just abandons logic, reason, and laws of physics altogether. The action and the story, by the way, is absolutely bonkers and nonsensical and fun at the same time. People are jumping between speeding cars, there's a tank involved in one of the chases, and the finale takes place on a military runway, which uh, where the crew... And this is going to be mild spoilers for the movie, but who cares, really? Uh, the crew tries to chase down uh, a cargo plane and sort of hold it down with steel cables mounted to their cars. And someone on the internet has calculated, based on the apparent speed of the cars and uh, the length of the scene, that the runway would need to be somewhere between 20 and 42 kilometers long, which is just... <laughs> what is this? It's, it's pure insanity, but I think... Weirdly enough, this is where the series finally hits its stride. It, it has all the elements that we now know it for. Outrageous action, fun banter and chemistry between characters uh, in between the action, and cool looking cars. And it's just this very distilled form of entertainment. If you turn off your brain completely, you'll enjoy the action sequences. And if not, you will just have to laugh at how off the wall they are. But either way, I liked the film for what it was. It's just really, really fun. 